Hey guys, so this is the part where I talk to you about my visit with Toyota Kenningwheel. I made an appointment to test out the Toyota CHR and uh, everything went really smooth. The salesperson, I won't say his name because I have some feedback to give later on, was very thorough. He was very helpful. He took me for the ride. He was very patient, very chill. Even his way of talking was very calming. I found it very, very peaceful. And he explained so many things about the car to me, all that. So he took his time and did the right thing the right way. Then it came to the money side of things. So I asked them, look, what's it going to cost? What are the insurance things, all the finances, this and that? And they started beating around the bush. So that's when I started uh, getting a bad taste in my mouth with the experience. Anyway, after a lot of chasing around, I managed to talk to the sales guy. He still, didn't give, still did not give me solid figures. He's like, yeah, this, yeah, this, might do this, might do that. And I'm like, do you have some kind of pamphlet I can look at? Do you have some kind of calculator I can use? And um, still not getting proper answers, so I went back to the guy who showed me the car. And I'm like, look, I want to make a decision. And uh, I want some figures. No answer, no answer, no answer. By then, my workmate already told me about the work discount, the novated lease, all the perks and things I can get with through my company. So, just then, the two, the guy who gave me the tour, gave me send me an email with the prices, and Yahoo being the one of the crappiest emails, I didn't see the email until after I had made made my decision anyway. So I'm like, look. I'm going to go with my work uh, program and fleet network because I'm getting a very good deal. And this is where it got unprofessional. Now I understand his side because that's this is his bread and butter. But he was upset. He's like, I can't believe you didn't uh, give me a chance. I spent so much time on showing you the car and this and that. And I was like, yeah, but that's your job. And anyway, I told him, look, you, the experience I had with you was very good. So if I have any other leads, I will send them your way. Uh, this is the offer I've got through work. Can you beat it? No reply. Again, unprofessional. I still send him leads because it's nice to me. Apart from that email, <laughs> which, which I can understand in a way. Speaking of sales, a little trick I learned, I think it was from Tony Robbins or something, it's, it's like about knowing your failure ratio. So if you if you chase a few leads, if you're doing cold calling or whatever way you're getting uh, your sales and leads and contacting whoever you need to contact, say you called people and you kept getting no's, you kept getting no's, kept getting no's, and then on the eighth call, you closed the deal. So that's your ratio. Every eight calls you make, that's your success rate. Now, use that as your benchmark. Use that as your, your I would say, your rep range, your personal best, and try to make it better. Oops. Keep trying to make it better from there. But don't get deflated and keep a record. Always keep an Excel sheet or some kind of record keeping tracker so you know your sales and 